Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Dev Channel, which is the build 25140. Microsoft released this new build for the Dev Channel today, and in this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also we're gonna talk about fixes that were applied in this Windows 11 Insider Preview build. Before doing anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Windows 11 build 25140 is a smaller build. Microsoft is not introducing anything new or anything exciting, but Microsoft finally provides us with an ISO download link for this build. And also we have a whole bunch of fixes that will improve the overall Windows 11 experience. First of all, if you want to download the ISO, just go ahead and click on the article down below in the description. And you're going to have the link there. Scroll down in this page. And here you're going to have to select the edition, select the latest build. For example, click on confirm, select the product language. I'm going to select English United States, then confirm. And then you're going to have the download link here and you can click on it and the download for the ISO will start. Well, Microsoft is also doing some changes and improvements to some typeface covers that are used in Windows 11 and they are improving the legibility and screen rendering of, of over 200 characters at various sizes. Of course, this is good, but not really a thing to be excited about. Other than that, we have a lot of fixes in this build. So for example, regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue which was leading some people to unexpectedly see error 0x800 726 when copying files from network drives. They also fixed an issue where the active tab color didn't match the, the command bar below it. Fixed an issue where dragging to rearrange tabs wasn't working sometimes. I think that is working pretty nice at the moment. Yeah, it's still not as fast as I would want it, you know. I would want it to be more reliable, but of course Microsoft will improve it. And they also fixed an issue which could cause artifacts in the Windows thumbnail preview in the taskbar if File Explorer was maximized and you used Windows plus M to minimize it. So let's try that now, Windows plus M. So that should be good right now. Regarding settings, if you go to rename a drive label and system storage and disks and volumes, the current drive name will now be pre-populated in the dialog. Regarding input, Microsoft is fixing a whole bunch of language hotkeys and also supported text-to-speech and of course, if you want to see that in depth, you can check out the article down below. Regarding Task Manager, Microsoft fixed a crash that could happen when switching modes in pages other than the processes page. And they also made a small adjustments to the intensity of the colors used in the heat map on the processes page. Other fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue with X64 emulation on ARM64, which could result in certain apps crashing on launch with error code 0xc40409. They also fixed an issue causing audio to stop playing in certain apps after a minute. Basically, this is all there is to it in this build. If you want to check out the known issues, go ahead and click on the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech based. Until next time, have a nice day.